And it was a windstorm last night because we had just had two days of consecutive rain. And right after that was a windstorm and it was all light last night. I mean, I thought it was going to blow my little camper, tip my little camper over last night. We wiggled it a few times, but we got through it. Now we over here chilling on Monday! <laughs> I know I'm scared of crap out of y'all guys also. Oh God, I can't we really start the video like that. <laughs> it's Monday, baby. Headed to work. Let's get it. guys so I got an update on some information a couple of vlogs ago I was uh, shooting out to you guys asking you you know what is this tarp thing here and you guys may have already answered me and I do appreciate that but uh, I had not had a chance to read those comments or this vlog is so far ahead <laughs> those comments have been able to be created yet. I'm pretty sure that's the case but uh, this is a cover for the greens, which is what I figured I knew. And I asked uh, my buddy Carrie up in the uh, pro shop up there. Basically, he said that when the temperature gets down below a certain water level, they can use the covers. And once it gets to that temperature, that they cover up the greens with that. And uh, the next morning, they know that's going to be down for two or three days. They put it down, and then as soon as the temperature comes back up past a certain point, they take those off of there. Uh, if they do not do that, that the grass that they use on the greens is so delicate that when it freezes, it freezes it in spots and you kill out like circles, patches of the, the green. So that's just there to protect the green, guys. Of course, I'm pretty sure y'all knew that already. All right, guys, second piece of golf course information there. You see that white line that's going kind of all the way across the, the uh, golf course right there, green or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did not know what this was for, and I asked again my buddy Kerry in the front uh, office up there, and he said basically what that is is to kind of tell everybody, hey, golf carts are not allowed past this particular point. Uh, again, they're trying to protect the greens itself, and that is a great way to protect them. Uh, apparently, a lot of guys have been pulling up their carts really close to the green, and they're just trying to protect the grass and the green itself because they spent a lot, a lot of money, guys, on uh, grass out here they changed it from a winter from a summer grass to a winter grass so it's more expensive no they changed it from a winter grass to a summer grass so it's more expensive so they, they're doing all the precautionary things to uh to uh, save the grass there so look at me man becoming all golf course knowledgeable <laughs> so lunch time is over I cut a little short, but I'm heading on a field trip, yay! Going down to Fountainhead State Park, which is the other park that uh, uh, Manager Jim is over. I'm going to take the van to get it repaired, and he's going to drop me back off down this way, so yeah, yeah. Awesome day so far, guys. And that is how you wrap up a work day.
Let's go see the little acers. Alrighty guys, so what you see in front of you <laughs> is eight crappie in two bags. Seven crappie in two bags. Uh, so it's given to me by my friend who went fishing for about 15 minutes and we have not been able to catch fish for the last two months. And all of a sudden he went down in 15, 20 minutes and he caught seven or eight. And he calls me and says, hey, how you doing? I said, I'm doing good. He says, yeah, you want some fish? I'm like, yeah, but why are you giving me fish? I said, you went fishing? He says, yeah, and I got to give you my fish because I can't let my wife know I went fishing. <laughs> Seriously, guys, you married men have to hide the fact that you enjoy something from your wife because she doesn't like you doing what you enjoy. You need to be single. On a serious note, you need to get rid of the ball and flipping chain. Wow. Hey, I ain't hating. I'll definitely take care of the fish for him, guys. All clean, cut, and ready to be frozen. Let's get it.